Hey, how's it going guys? Hope everything is going well. So I wanted to touch base on Max Kaiser and Bitcoin. So what I noticed over this past week is Max Kaiser, the, the guy who was telling people about Bitcoin four or five years ago, I remember him talking about it. He was saying that Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000. I remember him saying that in the Alex Jones show. And that's when it was climbing all the way up to, what, close to $1,000 before the bubble cracked. And now he's back uh, on the Alex Jones show. And Alex Jones was saying, man, how do, how do I get involved in Bitcoin? All right? They're interviewing Kaiser now. And the same thing goes with Kitco. Uh, John sent me an email, not an email, a message that's saying, hey, Max Kaiser is getting interviewed on Kitco. Uh, you know what that means. Well, in my opinion, that means that we're near the upper end of the range. When you see Max Kaiser pumping up Bitcoin saying that it, it's going to be used to crash JP Morgan, not crash JP Morgan, it could be in line with JP Morgan because it has a large market capitalization. So m my take on it is when Max Kaiser is uh, pumping this up, or when the it, mainstream media or alternative media is giving him a platform just to talk about this time in and time out, you know that maybe there needs some time for a correction, right? We're seeing these weird fluctuations in Bitcoin, right? One morning maybe down three thousand dollars, one day maybe up twenty percent, and notice that the volatility has spiked right before the SIBO here in Chicago is going to offer Bitcoin futures. And then the CME on the 18th is going to be offering Bitcoin futures. CME is most likely going to be offering options, but they haven't uh, done so yet. They just want to see how it plays out. I think the SIBO is going to do the same thing. So you have to look at it. You have the big banks now can play around in the futures market before they had to go through some of these exchanges or there were some other platforms like Ledger X where they could just trade Bitcoin. But now you're going to the futures markets where what are the futures markets? The futures markets are known for hedging purposes and also speculative means I use the futures market to speculate. I usually use option strategies or spread trading uh, to try to take money from rich people. That's the goal that I have. And the fact is, when you see Bitcoin going up in this levered market and you're going to get new investors coming to it, you see, in addition to futures, you're seeing all of the news talking about Bitcoin. Every time I go to Bloomberg Radio, I listen to Bloomberg Radio in the morning and in the nighttime. And all they keep on talking about is Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Now, where was this when Bitcoin was $3, right? When Bitcoin was a low price, I was mocking it, right? I didn't want to get involved with it because I, I didn't know the intricacies of Bitcoin. I heard about Mt. Gox, and ever since I heard about Mt. Gox, I'm like, hell no, I'm not touching this. And if I were to invest in Bitcoin back in the day, I would have invested through Mt. Gox. And luckily, I didn't get involved with it, and I didn't get involved with it later on. And there's hackings going on, and there are all sorts of shady things with Bitcoins. You can get stolen heard stories about the dark web and Bitcoin. So I didn't want to get involved with it for that reason. Now, futures are coming. Uh, I'm not going to get involved in the futures because you have to put 35% down as of right now. And that's a lot of money. In addition to that, they will be offering options. Now, options, I may get involved with that, right? Because if you buy like a deep in the money put, deep in the money call, Right, the volatility of Bitcoin is crazy enough where you can make money on buying deep in the money options. Right, most people lose money. The only people that have been successful in buying deep in the money options have been people like Kyle Bass uh, with uh, his purchase of Greek bond 
options and also uh, when he was involved in the subprime deal. He's just buying all sorts of insurance. And if he, he took like $600 to get him to what, like $400,000, $500,000. That's crazy. That's a crazy ROI. But going back to Bitcoin, you're seeing um, common guys talking about Bitcoin now. Mainstream media is talking about it. I see on Facebook all the time. Bitcoin. Oh, you could. I hope you could buy a house in Bitcoin. Uh, my wife's cousin, she was asking her about Bitcoin. One of my other wife's friends was asking her uh, to talk to me about coins. And they keep on going up in value. This is like a month ago. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, the mainstream public has no idea about Bitcoin, had no idea about Mt. Gox, and now they want to get involved. It's not when Bitcoin was like three bucks. When it's three bucks, okay, that's a different story. But I tend to get people come to me or to my wife to go to me uh, just to talk about this. And that's when the price extremes are at the high end. No one wants to talk about it when prices are low. So that's what I've observed in my uh, arena. I, I don't know what you guys think. I want you guys to comment on this. Uh, a few other things, the Fibonacci retracement levels. I saw this guy, All-Star Charts. Um, I did say that I felt the top would be 11890 Well, it blew right through it. It, it went close to $20,000 per Bitcoin at one point. And uh, that blew through another Fibonacci retracement level. But then after that, it, it went down a few thousand dollars. And then it's been uh, having crazy volatility since. So my take is uh, this is just the uh, pump before the dump. And we've seen classic signs of it. The Kaiser uh, platform that he's been given. You're seeing guys talking about Bitcoin that don't want to get involved in Bitcoin or that didn't want to get involved in Bitcoin a few years ago. Now they're saying, how can I trade Bitcoin? This is the top. <laughs> this has to be the top in my opinion. All right, guys, um, uh, please let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.